Hello, I'm Norm Geddes, CEO of Applied Systems Intelligence. Applied Systems Intelligence is committed to being the leading provider of intelligent software solutions for customers faced with complex decisions where failure is not an option. We succeed where others fail, consistently delivering excellence in cognitive engine design and knowledge engineering. State-of-the-art technologies, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting edge users around the globe on World Business Review. Welcome to World Business Review. I'm Norman Schwarzkopf. Artificial intelligence is experiencing a rebirth as an approach to solving very complex problems. New software utilizing this intelligence may help individuals perform at optimal expert levels. Here for this discussion is Dr. Norman Geddes, President and CEO of Applied Systems Intelligence. Welcome, Norman. Thank you, General. I'm delighted to be here. Also joining us is our industry expert, Dr. Mike Pregman, Executive Vice President of the Quality Assurance Institute. Welcome to you, Mike. General, it's been a pleasure to join you. Mike, why has artificial intelligence made a comeback? Well, artificial intelligence has been around uh, for quite some time, and it's used for solving complex problems, but it's particularly useful for quick decision-making, real-time uh, uh, decisions, uh, assessments, and analyses, which are particularly useful in certain applications. Norman, what factors led to this comeback? Well, I think there's really two sides to the re-interest in artificial intelligence. One is as businesses have gotten more complex and the speed of business has increased, there's more and more pressure to be able to analyze data and make decisions quickly. But along with that, there's also been a lot of technological improvements. Computers are faster, memory is cheaper, bandwidth and connectivity is easier. And I think those two things together have really led to this rebirth. For more, let's go to this World Business Review field report. Analyzing medical data requires precision software. Knowledge-based intelligent systems are perfecting this process. MTS is Metabolic Testing Services. The company was established in 2003 to provide a more effective solution to one of the most challenging problems facing the healthcare system. Uh, the problem is exercise intolerance, which manifests itself as shortness of breath, fatigue, or chest pain. We distribute our expertise via our MetTest brand name by setting up physiological labs inside of clinics and hospitals throughout the country and help our medical sites to get a more effective handle on the solution. Real-time analysis may be the key to a high-quality solution. There are many bottom-line benefits. Well, the system is collecting a set of data that is matched against a very complex database. The database contains all of the disease states that are possible for the different cardiopulmonary conditions that the patient might have. When the disease states are analyzed, a complete profile of the patient's health is returned to the physician. Test results are powered by a customer's expert knowledge. This may lead to a savings over the older manual analysis method. Our software is an excellent fit for problems that involve the analysis of lots of complex data and situations in which you simply can't afford to be wrong. The applications are broad. Newer software technology is helping customers meet an accurate, real-time solution for real-time analysis of complex data. For World Business Review, I'm Jamie Mahler reporting. Mike, for what type of problems is this technology appropriate? It's particularly applicable for real-time uh, analysis and decision-making and solutions uh, related to that. And in, in, in an application, for instance, such as enterprise risk management decisions, it's particularly useful. Norman, how can this system assess the interaction of a complex set of tests like MTS? Well, one of the advantages that the system has is its ability to build models of the interactions between the complex body systems that make up the cardiopulmonary system and reason about those in a way that's much more thorough than the individual uh, medical specialties uh, do. Well, whose knowledge would be captured for the MTS system? Well, we work uh, directly with a client like Metabolic Testing Services and their medical team to 
extract the knowledge from the medical expertise, but we also rely on recent research models, journal articles, and textbooks to, to compile the complete knowledge that goes behind the system. Well, how does this knowledge get captured and put into the MTS system? Well, that's an area of ASI's particular uh, expertise because we're one of the leaders in, no in the knowledge engineering process itself. So we, over the years, we've learned how to put together a process for finding knowledge, organizing it, uh, designing the knowledge bases, building them, and testing them so that the resulting product is easy to build and reliable. Great. How comprehensive is your system? Well, our PREACT software system that the MTS uh, process is based upon is the most mm -hmm. comprehensive cognitive engine in the world today. It includes full services for analysis and assessment, planning, acting, and coordinating with other human beings and copies of itself. So you can build large distributed intelligent systems with this software as its core. Norman, how can the system be modified uh, if new medical breakthroughs or information is introduced that may impact the MTS system. Right. Well, one of the real benefits of using the, a cognitive engine approach to solving problems like this is that the software and the underlying knowledge are distinct from each other. So as new medical knowledge is uncovered, you don't actually have to go back and change the software at all. All you have to do is update the knowledge, which is designed and structured to make that easy to do. So it's much like uh, adding new data to a database. You don't have to change the database engine to do that. You just have to add the data. Norman, thanks very much for being here, for letting us in on a very, very interesting area. Thank you, General. My pleasure. And Mike, great having you here. It's been indeed a pleasure to join with you today. And thank you for watching. Until next time, for World Business Review, I'm Norman Schwarzkopf.